Disclaimer, everybody. This is a disclaimer. Welcome to Respect My Journey. I'm your host, Carl Krauser, the cruising king, King Krauser, a.k.a. that old black magic. chance to meet him and talk to him and get that good side of him you know that good family man side and that good traditional value thought and, and teachings about being a better human being a better person being strong never giving up never quitting never settling never being okay with just being okay it's just real life here man he coached isaiah thomas he coached coach wood that's coaching university of indiana right now He's coached a lot of different players, man. A lot of different players. It's, it's amazing, literally. It's amazing. The list is crazy. And salute to all of the players that he's coached and the people who learned from him. Respect to everybody who, who has had a chance to talk to him and come across him and share some coffee or a conversation or just learn a lesson. That's amazing, man, because the lesson he taught me was watching the interview he was... Uh, forgot where it was at and he was saying that yeah I always say this to people too your voice is the sixth man on the court your voice is the sixth man on the court I never forgot that and I never will forget it because that helped me out and that helped me me and my teammates be successful throughout basketball since I heard that and I heard that before I got to college so before I got to college I was already talking about that preaching that and and it and it helped out you know what I mean that positive vibe, that, that positive progress, it was contagious and it just carried over to everybody else. So when I'm helping on the ball and somebody has the ball on the top, I'm over there screaming, help right, help right, help left, help left. I'm here, I'm here, I got you, I'm here. I'm screaming, so I'm making the defense think and then become uncomfortable with what decision they're trying to make with the ball while they're trying to shake their defender, which is my teammate. So I can't let that happen. Or if he tries to do it, I want to let him happen. It's not going to be an easy trip. When you come this way, you don't want to come this way because I'm too physical and I'm not going to give up. 
so they choose to opt to go the other way so i try to make it contagious if we all doing it then we all look good then we have these guys thinking and we have them uncomfortable we have them right where we want them so your voice is the sixth man on the court ladies and gentlemen always believe that always remember it so use your voice out there and your voice is the extra person too the extra part of you that's going to help you in any time that you need it just don't be afraid to speak up you have to speak up everybody i appreciate y'all i love y'all thank you rp coach Knight. God bless you and your family. I'm sorry. I hope God lets you enter the kingdom of heaven. And we are all believers, so we're going to pray for you. Well, the good people that believe us, we're going to pray for you, good sir. Always love. Have a safe and blessed one, good people. Enjoy the show. Question time. Oh, uh, yeah. Welcome back to Respect My Journey. Question question why do people come outside with these black t-shirts with mad lint all over the shirt od lint white stuff all over here flicks all on the back of their naked shirt and just all disgusting all on your shoulders you just look like you just came out of just it was snowing in your hair it was just nasty you know you weren't supposed to put that shirt on He's a nasty person, man. Go get a roller stick and roll some of that off. Shake your shirt off before you come outside. Disgusting. Question. Why do you think these people keep coming to work and outside in public smelling like 55 million foreigners stuck in one elevator just stuck there for five hours and can't get out? Imagine what that smell like. Smelling like sardines and socks. Just smelling like kitty litter. And, and, and just the hallways of the Bronx, pissy hallways in the projects. Just thinking all, all together. Just nasty. Why would you come outside like that? That's disgusting. Have some more self-respect and respect for others. Question. Why the hell is it cool for these old ass chicks, old ass ladies, females, be thinking they still OD sexy to everybody else with they finger wave or they straight line or sideline head, man, fake ass, nasty, stupid weed doing to create only fair pages behind their people's back. Even creating it in a relationship and you marry. It's just disgusting. You have no respect for the man, your family, the kids, nothing. You have no respect. You still want to be a young 16, 17, 18 year old layup. You still want to get finger rolled off the backbone of other people. You still want to get looked at by chicks and dudes. No self-respect. God bless your heart and God bless yourself. You know you're supposed to have more respect for yourself and your family than that. Not get off. It's disgusting. Just quit listening to the mother females. Question. Why do people think it's cool to wear those stupid sneakers out there with the wings on the side? Like you the guy from the movie Wakanda. Like you the man that's about to fly around and go kill all the people and go throw water at the people and drown all the people. Oh my goodness. Question. Why is it okay for females to lie to dudes talking about they got pregnant? Every weekend though, they pregnant. I hope everybody enjoyed the show. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. No, yeah, yeah. And thank y'all for the support.
line number 11. Well, of the 30, this is probably the prettiest. Look to the left, pass to the right, and no look. And then it finished. Finished by the seven foot. The update right here, Carl Krauser and Chris Quinn. Krauser clearly outplaying him. Who has it back from Kendall, one on one now on the grass. Thank you for watching Respect My Journey. Easy. Good night. X up.